Alan, thanks Chris. Achieving two year old calving. So we have our heifers picked out. Uh, we have our two heifers picked out. I want to calve them at two year old. Currently 24% of heifer calving at two year old. What is the problem here? Why, what, what, Mark McGee has said 50 euros a cow. Would say the calve at two year old. Nobody's doing it, Adam. Why, why are more people not calving? Well, there's probably, probably two main reasons, Adam. The, there's perception number one. So there's a perception out there among a lot of farmers like that the, the heifer will be stunted. Uh, you hear stories that they won't go back in calf, that they're going to be difficult to calf. So there's a lot of kind of misconceptions out there um, that, that is holding back farmers from doing two-year-old calving. Probably the other, the other main reason then, Adam, is that the target weights aren't being achieved. You know, uh, Chris has talked about the weights of the heifers here, but the target weights up along aren't being achieved. So, so farmers aren't in a position then to bull those heifers at 15 months and get them, and get them in calf. Okay, like you mentioned there that there's 24% of them uh, uh, currently calving down as, as two-year-old. Now, the good, the good story there is that that has increased from 16%, so it has gone up slightly. But we're still only getting a quarter of our heifers calved at two years. And I suppose what we're trying to show here, Adam, more than anything else, and if you get a chance just to look at the stock and match it up with the figures here that we have, is we're trying to show a visual um, of what can be achieved here with heifers calving down at two-year-olds and cows that have calved a two-year-old but are now five or six years old and have continued to perform okay so that's kind of the uh, the biggest thing we're looking at there just here looking at a few other things adam i think it was mentioned earlier earlier on they've heard about costs like that there's cost to the system but it's also um they're reducing the breeding efficiency if you don't calve them down at two years so we say <coughs> when you get an extra calf okay a two-year-old uh, heifer she's not going to produce as good a calf as your mature cow but you're still getting that extra calf into the system or, or from that cow during her lifetime so you're increasing the output um, of that of that cow okay so the important thing there adam is the targets the, the targets have to be achieved um, so to, to weight, that. weight gain is really really important if you want to calve a two year old you have to be on the money in terms of your weight gain weight gain is very important so again the farmers that are out there that are weighing are going to be at an advantage here because they're going to know these figures so when we talk about here from birth to weaning we're saying that the target average daily gain there should be 1.1 Okay, so again, those farmers that are uh, weighing their winnings are going to know those figures. Those that are not are going to struggle to know. So you're, you're in a better position then from an early stage to kind of select the heifers that you should be keeping. You'll know if they're coming off your better cows as well too, and you're in a better position to select them. This, this here is where a, a lot of the fall down comes, is in that first winter. So we have our heifer winnings, we put them into the shade, um, and maybe in a lot of cases they go in there in average quality silage and they don't perform. So we're saying there for them heifers to reach a target and um, bullying weight, they need to be doing 0.6 of a kilo over that first winter. So anywhere from 0.5 to 0.7. So what are you so saying in terms of diet for that first winter? Is it two kilos? Is it three kilos? Is it? What it depends that? on the silage quality, Adam. But you need you need good uh, good silage quality, um, 70, 72 plus, and then given a kilo, two kilos, two kilos in most cases. If you have really top quality silage, you may get away with less. But you need to give them that treatment so that they're grown at at, at this rate. And again, it comes back, we, we emphasise there the importance of weighing. How many farmers there for task it when they put in weanlings in the winter? Do they weigh them when they come out of the shed in the springtime again? And do they know what they've, what they've put on? Um, in terms of turnout to bullying, we all know the bad spring we had, and it was, I think, nationwide this year. I'm in the west of Ireland where the springs are generally always kind of poor. So it's hard to get your, your big suckler cow out early. But the one group of stock you can get out early is those weanling heifers. And try to get them out as a... a, a um, early in the year and try and get them out onto good grass and if you do that they will put on over a kilo a day up to bullying time so again you're achieving then this target weight that we've down here adam of 425 that that way can vary there depending on the mature size of your cow you're talking 60 percent of the mature size so 60 percent so again that could be 400 kilos there it could be 420 430 depending on the mature size of the cow that you that you you do keep Okay, one other critical thing just before we leave that board there, Adam, is just on the calving. It's one of the things, again, thrown out that a two-year-old, she's going to be too hard to calf. And um, so it does mean that you have to put a lot of um, thought into the sire that you select. So again, if you're going through the, the tent next door, the, the eye companies there will tell you about there's plenty of bulls out there that have um, easy calving sires. So we're talking oh, about 4%. Say, yeah. When you say easy calving, what do you say? 4% calving difficulty, Adam, and what's your reliability as well? 80-90% reliability as well. Okay. So okay. we have some stock in front of us, Alan. So yeah, before we all finish up, this is the important thing that I want to show you here. It's just on the stock. We have two uh, maiden heifers here, um, 341 and 646. So these are these two here in front of us here, Adam. Okay, 341 is out of CWI. 
the other heifer is out of uh, uh, stock but so what we can see here is the date of birth of these two heifers they both got a good replacement index we see their winning weights and the important thing here to look at is look at the average daily gain that they had there. So obviously here there's either milk behind these mothers of these animals or else the genetics is there to really drive on. 1.36, 1.29, that's really Pro good weight gain for a heifer cow. Probably both there Adam, that there was good genetics and there was good milk in the cow. So the, between the two of them there, they're averaging 1.3. We were talking here about 1.1, so they've exceeded that, so they've hit that target. Okay, and you can see their turnout weights then and their current weights. Okay, and both those heifers have been served on, on these dates. So well on target that these are the type of heifers that we want to be pulling at two year old. We also have a first cow to take it to the next stage. So this cow, an on deep cow. Uh, on deep cow, yeah. Days. So she is calved down. She's a two year old, as you can see there last February. Gain good replacement index. She had good uh, average daily gain right through. And she is an Angus calf here at foot. As I said, for your first calver, you might not always get as good a calf as you'd get here from your mature cow. But you still have a good quality calf, a live calf and you're increasing the output of that, uh, of that uh, cow in her lifetime. And calf is doing about 1.1 kilos a day. Very doing very good average average. Still again. And so the real proof in the problem here, Alan, is, is, our, is our mature cows here in terms of born 2012. Um, again, proof that when you can calve a two-year-old, they go back in calf, and, and it does work on farm. This yeah. is your Derry Patrick progeny. Yeah, these are the, uh, the two that I'd really like you to look at here, and just look at the board behind. So we have two mature cows here. They're both uh, six-year-old, as you can see here. This is their fifth calf that they've had here, so they calved down a two-year-old. They've calved continuously then. You can look at their calving interval back down here, 373, 372. So they've calved each year, which again, um, Adam dispels the myth that they're going to be hard to get back in calf. Obviously, these were looked after well when they were two-year-old. They, they were back in calf every year, so they've had um, a very good calving interval. What you'll also notice here too is that they, um, they're very good quality calves at foot. Uh, I'd also like you to look at the condition of the cows here as well too. There's good size in these cows, Adam, and um, very good uh, body condition in them. Again, dispelling this myth that they're going to be stunted or somehow held back. So you can look even there, the live weight there, the man up top was talking about the live weight. The, some, for some people, they might think they're even too heavy. They're 732, 742. So calving them at two year olds did not hold those two back. Okay. And they're two very good calves there at foot. Um, lemon frosty calf and a uh, fisting calf here at yeah. foot. Okay, any questions for any of our speakers, folks, Gary Fisher, Chris Daly, or Alan Nolan, uh, or myself, in terms of what we covered over the last five minutes? Uh, Anybody shout them out yet? Go on ahead. So, the, important, the, the question is, Chris, the importance of reliability in the figure. So, what, 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 what emphasis should you put on reliability when we say selecting sires for, for example, Alan's here will say a scenario where we're, where we're selecting a, a bull to go on a heifer. What do you say? What, what reliability? Yeah. Adam, just before Chris comes in and answers that, there's a fact sheet there on the two year old calf, and if any, before you go, if you want to pick it up, it gives a lot of the details on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Reliability, look, it depends on the trait that you're selecting for. I'll just use the example of calving heifers at two, right? What's the most important trait there? It's going to be calving difficulty. Do you want to take risk with heifers? You don't. So what you want with them is you want an easy calving bull, maybe less than 4%, but you want a high reliability at 90 plus percent. I know what you're going to say is a stock bull, you're not going to get that. What the general advice is with stock bulls is maybe for the first year you leave them with cows before leaving them with bulls. AI does give you a lot more options with, uh, with, with maiden heifers. Look, in terms of females, Every female is going to have a lower reliability to start of her life because she hasn't had any progeny yet. That doesn't mean you discard the figures that they don't mean anything. Again, it's like bulls. If you have 15, 20 heifers in front of you with an, an average reliability of 50%, by selecting the top five, the team average is very high. So you select the best heifers from within that, on average you're going to get better performance from those better heifers, and it, it means your team reliability is higher.